Hi, this is JC with Beyond 20. Today, we're going to take a look a little further into the ad hoc emails uh, and how to create quick messages. So these messages might be just things that you consistently need to send out, but they're, they're more on the ad hoc. But you want to make sure that the language is always the same, no matter which analyst sends it. Uh, so something like that would be an example. So we're going to take a look at problem here. Uh, in a previous video, we've taken a look at how to add this email to uh, the ad hoc email to problem. So if you want to know how to do that, please check out our, one of our previous videos. Uh, for the quick messages, let's open up our filter navigator and let's go to quick messages. It's going to be under email client here. We see quick messages. And I'm going to create a new one. Give it a title. Video quick message. I'm going to make sure that this is set to active. Now, if I want, I can limit this uh, so that only selected users can use this or only selected groups, depending on what my needs are. Now, my needs for this video are just to show you how to create a message, so I don't, I'm not going to limit it to anyone. The table, we're going to choose problem. And you can add conditions here as well. So maybe you only want to send this ad hoc message uh, or be able to see this quick message if the problem is in the root cause analysis state. So that is something you can set up. Uh, in this case, we're just going to leave it open and give it a body. This is my video body. Verifying that we've got this set to active, we'll now submit it. And let's go take a look. So let me go back to problem. We're just going to go to any problem here. Go to my email again. We can see we have these quick messages now up here at the top. So I can select my video quick message. And we can see that it's added the body here. Now, out of the box, it's not going to add a two. It's not going to allow you to change the subject. At all, but it is going to allow you to have this consistent uh, body for the message. So that's how you create your quick messages and where to go to find them. Once again, make sure you do have them set to active. By default, when you create a new one, it's not going to be. Um, and use it as you see fit. That's all I've got for now. Thanks and have a great day.